Okay, guys, it's Carl with Cultivate with Carl, and guess what time it is? It's Monday, the day you've all been waiting for, the day you go back to work, and the day you get a garden update. I know that you wait all week for these with bated breath and high anticipation, uh, so I aim to please. So what we have is this is the one-year anniversary. This weekend, last year, uh, Glenn and I built the first garden bed, this one. At his house, uh, we went to Lowe's, picked up the lumber, and then uh, Glenn constructed it. And then I did the big experiment last year of, um, you know, putting together my original test bed. And it worked out pretty good. You know, I, I got a lot of tomatoes last year, a lot of cucumbers. And then it kind of inspired me to expand to the crazy mess that I have now. So, uh, that's okay. Things are progressing. I'm making, uh, I made a lot of good progress this weekend, uh, did a lot of work, and the good news is, very shortly, uh, about 15 days from now or so, I'll be transitioning to day shift, uh, so that means I won't have to do all this at night, because I was out here last night at midnight uh, working in the garden, and uh, it's dark, and it's not a lot of fun, <laughs> and it's kind of hard to see. So uh, that's coming to an end, and hopefully I'll be able to continue to whip things into shape. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the progress. I'm going to switch around. Let me stop talking for a second. Okay. The big progress this week is I've got the irrigation system hooked up for the tomatoes and uh, one of the other beds. But you can see here, I tried the drip tape. And it kept popping the ends, kept overpressuring the line and popping the, dip, the drip tape. So, I just went with the same system that I used last year. The system worked great and then I have it set to water for 20 minutes every Sunday morning at 6 a.m. and that will deep water the bed which should cause the roots of the tomato plants to seek water down below and then they will have good root development but as you can see I'm getting good growth um, I grew that one from in inside this one this one basically all the ones on this side and those two were ones that I grew from seed and they're really starting to pick up. These other monsters that I got from the store, they've already started to flower. I had to pinch the flowers off to prevent them from uh, trying to put on fruit. And then I've also taken the first suckers off of them because these for sure are indeterminates. But that's the first bed with the irrigation system. It's gotta be tidied up a little bit, but uh, that's that, not too shabby. Over here, I've added in these little gizmos. Basically, they're little terracotta uh, spikes that you add bottles to. This one has a Coke bottle, but, well, all these have Coke bottles. Down there, there's some beer bottles. And it works out pretty well when you can't get out and water every day. I still don't know what these plants are. If you have any idea, let me know. Uh, I know that's a basil because I put that in there, but these, I, I've got no clue. Oh, gratuitous puppy shots. Every garden video has to have a mascot, and there's Ruby getting into trouble. These are the tomatoes, or potatoes. Potatoes in bags. And uh, they're doing pretty good. They, they really popped up over this last week. I, I fed them a couple days ago. This is a tomato plant on Tomato ICU. I'm getting ready to put another tomato plant in there. That I'm just going to sow into the dirt and then we'll see what happens. These are two new uh, tomato ICU graduates. Well three actually. Uh, I had pots for these and so both of these come from tomato ICU and they're looking pretty good and he is looking okay. So not a problem. We'll see how he perks up. I got to get another bucket but I had that that's why I put them in there. Over here my cucumbers are starting to go up the trellises but I'm still getting a lot of that leaf discoloration and I don't know what it is so I plan on hitting them with neem oil again which I've already hit them once and uh, it seemed to help so maybe it's powdery mildew you can also see all the flowers that have been picking off because these things were stressed and they were trying to put on fruit this little guy right here has never grown we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens the Romas are looking good. The Romas are doing pretty good. I mean, golly, for being in buckets, those things are doing great. 
getting over here, all this is different kind of cucumbers. So in the cups are the same cucumbers that are in the back row. The goal this week is to get rid of all the cups. So that's what we're working on. I got the trellis set up here. The cucumbers will climb all the way up this. Pretty snazzy. Works out pretty well. Let's flip around. The potato plants are going bananas. And uh, it is sticking here. It's like a dang jungle. And the plants are doing good. So I have one more feeding, I believe. One more time to feed them next Sunday. It's either one more or two more. And then it's four weeks of no feeding, just watering. And then, bam, it'll be time to start harvesting potatoes. And then all this will make it to the mulch pile. But if you see here, I'm getting flowers. So that's one of the signs that you're getting close to harvesting. Now, I think that flower is a little too early. We'll see what happens. I'm working on the irrigation system for this bed. Oh, here's Gunner. Other dog to gratuitous shot. Oh, so cute. Except when he climbs in the beds. Then I want to kill him. But I have to get fencing for this so we don't climb in here. Uh, here's the woodpecker. Um, bell pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper. Jalapeno, 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 jalapeno. And then I'm saving space right there in the middle for a green bell pepper. Because all these bell peppers are different colors, just not green ones. So that's a little wackadoo. Over here, my other irrigation system victory. This is the carrot bed. And those are two uh, cherry tomatoes for Glenn. And another cherry or another tomato out of tomato ICU uh, that's got a bigger pot. Hopefully it'll do good. So um, I have to clean this up a little bit. But I've already put uh, a deep water disc. It works well. I've got to trim up some of these lines, and then I got to find something to go in these three spots right here. One, two, three. So uh, that's not bad. Eventually, I'll be able to clean up all this garden hose all over the yard because I'm going to trench right here and lay down some PVC and put little spigot heads at each bed and then at the end of the rows. Uh, these right here are zucchini, zucchini, or yeah. Maybe cucumber, zucchini, and then that's squash, 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 zucchini, and uh, zucchini. And these are those terracotta watering sticks I told you about. And, you know, what? they're not really that necessary right now, but in the summer when it gets hot, they'll be much more handy. Now, I know that you're like, Carl... Zucchinis and squash get huge. Why do you have more than one plant in the bed? Well, what I'm hoping is they both survive, but I don't think that they are. So we're going to play survivor and we'll nip out the one that doesn't do the best. Or in the case of these two zucchinis, hopefully one will grow that way, one will grow this way. I don't think that's realistic because the sun's coming from this side. So I think this guy's going to have the advantage, but maybe he'll anchor out that guy right there. So... Let's take a pan, look around, and look at the whole setup. So I'm going to add in more potted uh, plants along the fence. And I'm also going to add in some trellis stuff along the fence. Tomato bed, uh, cuke bed, squash and zucchinis. Over there is bell peppers, carrots, and whatever. Potatoes. The two bins uh, are doing good the compost is shrinking down i'm gonna have to flip them this week and then way over there you can see my two strawberry plants uh planters which are going to be moved back over here soon i'm gonna build a little platform and then i'll put them up there by the fence so one thing i'm going to do here this piece of uh garden this is where my dad used to grow roses it gets light about eh, six hours out of the day 
And so that's the rest of tomato ICU plus two spare lettuces that I'm saving. So essentially what I did last night was I dug it all out. This is what you see here. It's a bunch of debris. I put cardboard down. Uh, first of all, I put some 10, 10, 10 down for uh, fertilizing. Then I put cardboard down threw the rest of my wood mulch on top of that. And so the plan is over the next couple days to get back here and drop in some of those tomatoes, get them out of the cups. Now, they're not going to all go back here because if they all grew, they wouldn't fit. But it's kind of survival of the fittest at this point with all those spares. They're not very healthy because I didn't seed them properly, but we're going to give them a shot at life and see what they can do. Um, I'm going to flip you back. So that's it. The, uh, we're going to give those tomatoes a shot at life. Uh, I had a spot in the yard last year, if you remember from watching the videos from last year, that it was just sitting off by itself. And those tomatoes actually produced more than the tomatoes in the bed because I just left them alone. And they were determinates, so they did what determinates are supposed to do. They just grew and then put on a bunch of fruit and then kicked the bucket. And so I was pretty happy with them. Uh, the funny thing about that is that uh, Rube was walking around the bottom eating all the low hanging tomatoes because that's what she does. I'm pretty satisfied with the progress I've made so far. Uh, getting the irrigation system hooked up was a big plus because every day you don't have to come out and water when it gets hot is a plus. I'm going to continue to work on that and finesse it during the summer. I've got to get some of the peppers in. I get my final peppers in. Everything after this is going in pots. I'm working on a video about how I screwed up the seeding process. And it's going to be essentially the five ways I screwed up the 2022 seeding, uh, you know, summer seeding starts or something of that nature. Uh, I have it down. I understand what I did wrong. And essentially, I'm going to give you a little cliff notes preview. In a warm environment like Mississippi, you don't have to pre-plant a lot of your plants because our grow season is so long. Essentially, we can almost grow something all year except from mid-December to mid-February. But in that case, you still have potatoes in the ground. Um... But, so next year, I've already put on the calendar, the mosquitoes are eating my butt up. Next year, I'm going to put on the calendar just to start my tomatoes and my peppers early. And the rest, like the cucumbers, the zucchinis, the squash, and lettuces, will all get planted as soon as the last frost happens. Probably about March 1st. And then I'll go to ground and just grow everything because as the soil warms the plants actually grow faster so in that tomato bucket that i had i'm going to put some seedlings in there and the seedlings will probably overtake that plant that plant is like six weeks old you know six eight weeks old that was one of my original um seedlings but like i said i did a lot wrong you'll hear about it probably next week on the video and uh, I'm working on the script now, so it's a little bit more cohesive than me just doing impromptu talks like I'm doing right now. But I think that's it for the garden update. We're hitting 13 minutes. It's uh, long. So if you're watching on YouTube, smash that like button. You know, uh, I can use that to get some audience participation, some build up. Watching on Facebook, you know, hit the like button anyway drop me a note. If you've got a garden, why don't you post up some pictures? Plus, what are you guys doing for a hobby, right? I've been uh, riding my bike other than just doing gardening. And let me tell you, it's good stress relief and everybody needs a hobby. Everybody needs a way to get away. And so what is it that you're doing? You know, put it in your, uh, put it in your comments. So leave me a comment here on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, wherever you see this video. And, um, you know, check back next Monday because I know that you're going to be waiting for the update from Cultivate with Carl. Weekly garden update. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.